Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away from YouTube for a bit, but that has not stopped me from watching movies, so today I need to play a little bit of catch up. I will be reviewing four movies today, those being Morbius, The Bubble, Everything Everywhere All At Once, and Ambulance, which is a very last minute decision. I was actually supposed to watch Sonic 2 instead, but I really underestimated how great that movie would sell. Wow. And if you guys don't want to stick around for all four reviews, that's totally cool. I'll leave time codes in the description, so if you want to jump around or just hear about one movie, it's all down there. So I guess the movie I'll start with today is Morbius. I am Venom. I'm just kidding, it's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. When I first saw this movie, which was opening day, I really didn't want to review this movie. Everything you've been reading online about this movie being a complete train wreck has been fairly accurate. I didn't really want to be just another guy piling onto the hate on this movie because I really don't have anything new to say other than Morbius makes for some fantastic memes. Lately, I've been down the TikTok hole of Morbius being the greatest movie of all time, and I've been having a complete blast. Everyone gets it. Anyways, yeah, the movie itself wasn't very good. Clearly, they knew that there was nothing in this movie that was going to put people in seats, so this movie is purely marketed off the fact that this guy might fight Spider-Man in the future, which there is no indication of that anywhere throughout this entire movie. Instead, you just get this really bad, really lazy post credit scene that I'm guessing was supposed to excite people, but people have universally agreed that this was just complete shit. Seriously guys, just don't waste your time with this movie. It's a painfully generic script with no good characters, no good performances, and a really boring plot. The whole movie is basically on autopilot and that's not to mention the fact that there are several moments in this movie that will probably give you brain damage. So yeah, this should be pretty obvious, but I'm just going to give Morbius a 1 out of 10. Pretty much the worst movie going experience you could have. And I watched this in IMAX, by the way. But moving on, now we have the Netflix comedy directed by Judd Apatow, The Bubble. Honestly, this was not far from being Morbius levels of bad but it was still pretty bad. The Bubble is a movie about a bunch of actors returning to film the sequel to a famous franchise, but it is during COVID and this is all supposed to be a big parody of all of that. And this movie was just so out of touch with all of the things that it was trying to make fun of. It honestly just felt like Judd Apatow was just making a movie to entertain his own circle of Hollywood friends. Which is really upsetting because Judd Apatow is one of the few comedy directors that's actually well established for having good work. He's the guy behind movies like 40 Year Old Virgin and King of Staten Island, which is probably one of the worst nosedives and quality you could possibly have. It's full of terrible jokes about COVID, Gen Z, and the movie industry. Hey, kids are into TikTok, right? So let's put that in the movie and shoot fake TikToks because that will be hilarious. And you know what? I honestly don't even blame any of the actors here. Sure, everyone is very terrible, but it's definitely not their fault why this movie turned out to be so bad. They definitely tried with the material they were given, but it was just not enough. And here's the kicker. I never actually watched the entire thing. I think I got a little past halfway through and then I saw that there was still another hour left and I just, I couldn't do it. I just had to walk away because I had already seen enough at that point. So if anyone wants to make a case against me that it somehow gets better in the second half, feel free to do so. But by the looks of other reviews I've seen, I don't think I made the wrong call. I give the bubble a two out of 10, which is being generous because I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt because I didn't watch the entire thing. So that's the only thing that saves this from being a one out of 10. Okay, so finally I get to talk about an actual good movie and that is A24's newest Everything Everywhere All At Once. Man, 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 is this movie fantastic. This movie is directed by the duo Daniels who also directed the weird body comedy Swiss Army Man. And what these guys were able to do with Everything Everywhere All At Once was really special. I don't think we'll ever get to see a movie this good and this original 
for a very very long time a24 is out here proving once again why they are one of the most well-respected movie studios and that's because they fund stuff like this and i don't know how to properly describe what this even is without getting into some minor spoilers but in a nutshell this movie is about evelyn a sad laundromat owner who discovers the multiverse and now it's up to her to save countless universes. And if that concept doesn't sound strange enough, well then just wait to see what kind of a journey this movie takes you on. There are so many ideas being explored and toyed around with here that there is not a single minute for you to be bored and if there is, then the movie will quickly suck you back in because they've already moved on to the next idea. This movie juggles so much at the same time that I'm honestly very impressed at how the Daniels managed to make it all work very seamlessly. I would say the majority of this movie is a comedy but the plot is also very engaging and kind of an emotional ride. There are plenty of serious moments in this film and it never felt distracting or abrupt. All of the themes work very well together and I would honestly say that this is some of my favorite editing in a film ever. And I also want to give a quick props to all of the actors in this movie too. Everyone here was so fantastic and so full of charisma. Michelle Yeoh was obviously the standout but I was also very impressed by the ensemble as well. They all definitely deserve the recognition recognition after this. But yeah, I loved every single minute and aspect of this film. I don't think I could ever get tired from watching this, so that's why I'm going to give Everything Everywhere All At Once a 10 out of 10. This is my first 10 out of 10 I've given out on this channel and I could not be more happy to give it to this movie. It's a beautifully unique movie that you don't want to miss and I definitely give it my full recommendation to watch this in theaters. But with that being said, I think we should take it back a notch and talk about the new Michael Bay film ambulance like i said this movie was a last minute change up i always thought the trailers for this movie looked like absolute trash so i already had low expectations going into this but wow this movie actually surprised me ambulance has a pretty simple concept it's about a bank robbery gone wrong and the majority of this is just one big giant car chase. Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaha Abdul-Mateen play brothers in this movie and they are the leads. I didn't care a whole lot about their characters. They do get better over time but I did enjoy the performances they gave. Jake Gyllenhaal's character is this cocky, experienced bank robber who is constantly trying to find a solution to all of their problems but the more he tries, the more things go wrong which rightfully set him off. I wasn't a fan of most of the dialogue in this movie but Jake can really act and he was definitely playing it way up for this movie. It kind of ruined certain moments but I was still entertained by the performance. Yaha's character was more of the center of the movie. He's a much cooler, much more rational minded human being which is supposed to make him the connection to the audience. He's just a guy that wants to pay for his wife's surgery. He was never really supposed to be here but he just kind of got roped into it by his brother and their chemistry was pretty good. It's one of the main reasons this film is able to be so engaging throughout but the real crown jewel of this movie is the tension and anxiety this movie creates. Things are constantly going wrong and there's nothing these characters can do about it except drive and try to come up with the next escape plan. Isa Gonzalez is also in the movie and she plays an EMT that's being held hostage by the brothers and there's a scene where she just has to straight up perform open surgery in the middle of the ambulance. That was probably my favorite scene in the entire movie and yes, it was very anxiety inducing. As for the technical aspects, the movie looked okay. Because it's mostly a car chase, there are a lot of handheld shots inside of the ambulance and a lot of drone shots for the car chase itself. I like the drone shots. The drone shots were cool, but the constant whipping and editing for the handheld shots honestly gave me a headache but it added to the atmosphere, so I guess it was bearable. The movie also runs into a few pacing issues towards the third act. I think this was 2 hours and 16 minutes, but it felt like 4 hours. There was definitely a few times where I thought this movie was going to end and should have ended, but it just kept on going and it had already ran out of steam by that point. I also didn't really care for any of the dramatic moments in this movie. They all mostly fell flat for me and the ending didn't really do much for me either. Is this something that I recommend you go out and watch? Not entirely. I mean, if you're intrigued, then yeah, go see it, but is it a must watch in theaters? Mm, streaming would be fine. I think the score I would give Ambulance overall is a 6 out of 10. It's not bad at all as long as you're willing to look past a few things and just be there for the excitement. I haven't seen much of Michael Bay's movies, but I can definitely tell you that this is better than all those Transformers movies combined. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this movie wrap up. 
I think I'm going to do this again next week. There's a few things I'm watching next week, including Sonic and Nicolas Cage's unbearable talent movie. And there's a few things I've been meaning to watch on streaming like Windfall and Kimmy. So I might include those as well. But as always, appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys like these movie wrap ups or if I should just stick to one movie at a time. And also remember to watch everything everywhere all at once in theaters. It's amazing. You don't want to miss it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you when I see you. Bye.